Hello everyone, this is Mr. Plamondo coming to you live again with part 2, continuation to my let's play now. In part 2, like I was mentioning in part 1, I'm going to explain to you guys how to use gems and put them into your items to make them better, and I'm also going to show you guys item recipes so you can make weapons and potions and etc. So I'm going to be doing that in this very short little video, so let's get started. Now I'm just going to load up my character, which you've all seen is now a level 8. So we're going to hit the play button here. Okay, I also have a skill point. I'll teach you how to bring up your skill menu. As we wait here, it's just press the S key. Pretty simple. Speed keys come in handy. Like your eyes and all that for your inventory, your C for your character panel. But you'll learn that as you play. And here we go. So now I did pick up some, uh. Yeah, here there are some, uh, embers here. I like to call them gems because, you know. They look like gems, and you can socket them into stuff, and make stuff better. And it gives you what they do, like this does plus 15% to ice damage. These are plus 15 to fire damage, which comes in handy. Actually, sorry, plus 20 in a weapon, plus 15% in armor and trinkets. So, and also, I'd like to mention, there was a little mistake in my last video. I'm actually going to be posting up first on my RP recordings wall now. I'm not going to be making a... Mr. Plamondo wall on Facebook. I'm actually planning on doing something even bigger, a better project um, that I'm not going to mention yet. It's a surprise, so I'm um, looking forward to that. Now, um, as you can see, I still have the same sword. I haven't really upgraded any of my armors yet. So, I'm going to show you what basically it's pretty straightforward and simple. With the ember, you just take the ember, you drag it into one of these things and it'll add to that socket. Now this has two empty sockets, this has one, etc. Pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Now, the thing that's a little more complicated is um, dealing with uh, making potions and other items as well. Now since I have the time, I'm going to go to my stash real quick and I'll show you some of the items I have here. We just, and they're all in order. Now, these are familiar to people who've played Diablo 2. Um, um, you know, your, uh, ruins, or what they called in, uh, Diablo 2. Um, and you can use these as well. And these are really, really good. They do lots of great things. They, uh, th this one here improves your physical armor or your damage. Now I'm saving these for damage because I definitely want to make myself more of a, uh, balance build for this playthrough. Now I'm also going to, uh, put these... Way. Now you don't see them now, but watch this. Boom, you hit this, organize inventory, and there you go, it organizes everything for you. Very neat, very tidy, very awesome. Okay, um, and then we also have the gambler. I'll show you that once we take a free trip to Act 2. Now, that's, this is a, I'm going to actually take a look around and show you guys some stuff here. Here's your skill respect, so if you screw up, you can do that. We have some general goods vendors, like I showed you earlier. Um, there's also... I'm a toy collector. There's your blacksmith here. And down here, I'll show you on this little map over here, we actually have a place to get pet skills down here. Um, I'm actually going to save that for last. Sometimes you get stuck down there because there's an archer that just likes to fire at this thing. And right here, this target dummy, and you get stuck. It's a pain in the butt. Now, here's Act 6, the unofficial Act 6, this guy's exclamation point. He'll take you to what I said in the last video, Lamhat which is um, where you can uh, you know, get really, really awesome legendary loot. Now, uh, I'm just going to try to fig remember and see if I can't figure out how to uh, get to uh, Act 2. So I'm going through here. No, this is definitely not the way. I believe that's actually a place where I can get myself killed real quick. I believe I have to go to Sherlock. I'm not 100% sure. We're going to see in a minute. Um, actually, I should take this time first to get myself... Oh, I have one, but I'm going to get myself some more waypoint scrolls. I am at your service. And do some gambling, so you guys get to see a little bit of gambling. 
And there's my transmutation ember, which I'm going to use later, and I'll explain to you um, how to go about. Uh, and now I'm just going for my armor. Plus one rank to righteous cleave skill. Now I don't have righteous cleave skill, so I don't know if that's going to work or not. So I'm just going to discard that. Ooh, health. That might be. Fire armor. Okay. And uh, there's your staff, sword, blindness. No. Um, yeah, there's not really much here that I picked up that's uh, better. Now, this may have better, better physical armor, but I do need that dexterity bonus. So that's that. Now we're gonna go gamble here. Let's see what we can get here. Hey, today only. So we have your swords, your axes. A lot of these are two-handed weapons. We have some uh, range weapons, mage weapons. Uh, I'd need a better sword. But, uh, Thirty-five twenty for this one. Let's see. Hundred. Oh, nice one for a second. So some chance to shock. That could potentially be better. I'm not one hundred percent sure. A gem. Well, we'll see here. We'll just do this. Uh, no, it's not better. It has no magic damage, so that we will get rid of. First one's free. No. Hmm. Let's see what else we can gamble for. I'll gamble some armor here and see. We got some blue armor, which gives me ooh, a ton of dexter. Wow, that's awesome. Definitely gonna keep that. Um, wow. Now, yeah, I'm never gonna have that much money for a long time. 21,600. Holy Moses. That must be one of the um, better modded items. I don't know. Because I've recently added back in Adventure Pack 2. Like I said in the uh, previous, now I, correct me if I'm wrong, but that does include some weapons and armor. Um, yeah, sorry, I'm just kind of figuring. No, there's nothing really here to. So now we're just gonna quickly um, make our way over here, and then in my next uh, live stream, we're going to be doing uh, more of Act One, doing some more questing. Grinding out a couple more dungeons. Like for here we are. This is what I wanted to look for. So yeah, as you can see here, we have one, two, three, four, five. So there's my five acts. We're gonna head to Act Two real quick, and then go back to Act One. Now there's some people here that I'll show you later that uh, you can uh, use to uh, enchant items with stuff. So that one does luck. There's some that do power and, and stuff. There's also a place here on the map Welcome, that gives you even more places to travel to so you can go to the desert, desolate land, etc. That's more endgame. Uh, we also have a uh, guy here for quest. And there's my stashes. And there's another uh, vendor here Greetings, human. that summons practice dummies. I don't know why this is in the game, but you know, if you want to test out and see what your damage output is, that's a good way to do it. Here we go, we're gonna go to here. Oh yeah, it's gonna play the Act 2 video. I'm just gonna skip this real quick. Here you go, you guys really need to see that. So here we are in Act 2. So yeah, I'll quickly explain this to you. Now you can go here, and you can pay a certain fee, so let's say you just want to enchant this weapon, or armor, and you can enchant it and make it better. It gives a random property, and it tells you you have a maximum of two for this armor. I'm actually going to equip that in a minute before I uh, end this Let's Play, part two. Um, and there's the way to travel back to the other town. Now these are your pets. And here's some pet skills for Act 2, so, like, I have Mega Mace, I can give that to my pet. 
um, at the level he is now. I can also give him Shadow Burst, um, Art of Flame Hammer, or Seismic Slam, etc. So these are custom um, uh, pet abilities that they can use. And I'll actually show you how you go about doing that. They're right here. And it's quite simple as just right clicking to learn. And there you go, now he knows Flame Nova, which inflicts 80% of weapon damage. And it emits fireballs in all directions. So it's very useful, and it also, well, yeah, the thing that I equipped improved his. Or did he level? Yeah, I think, yeah, he leveled up. He's level 8. So that's why he's almost dealing a key damage. As were ideal, like peanuts. So here's the last thing I'm going to show you before we uh, exit, and this is where, this is your transmuter, and these are where all your, all your uh, combinations are. So you can see it says three lucky dice, and the one I'm going to um, tell you right now is the Ripper Armory one. You need one unique item, so an item that says unique on it, this is a rare. That's rare, so it would say unique. One rare socketable, so anything that can go in these sockets here, like I said earlier, has to be rare. And then the stone that I showed you right here. Now this one says level 1, so anything from level 1 to 10, like your weapons and items have levels, so this one's level 17, I can't use this one. Now, I could use a level 10 item and turn it into another weapon or item. So let's say you have a really crappy weapon, you know, you can take this one, put it in there, transmod it into something else, hopefully get something better. This has, you know, got me some really cool, amazing stuff before. So, yes, that's pretty neat. Um, and then, of course, we have another item enchanter there. And the last thing I'm going to explain here is how to destroy... These are just simple. This is recovering gems, so you just put an item in here. You can recover the gems that are in it. So these two 7th ice damage, you can recover those. And this guy basically just destroys the item. Etc. So, pretty straightforward stuff. Nothing really complicated. And there's your PvP if you want to do PvP. That's the pit there for Act 2. So, I've done this. So I'm just going to do a recap. I did some gambling in this video. I taught you how to use embers to suck at your items and make them better. And I also taught you how to trans modify your weapons and armor using the uh, transmuter here. So, if you f feel free to take the mods I have. I have the, they're my favorite 10. They're in my part 1 video. You can pause and take a look at that. Feel free to comment and subscribe. And remember, 